hello automation and well lovers welcome back to kt sessions and in today's session we are gonna see how can we use a macro in our automation anywhere a360 task boards so we have this excel file and it contains data of employees and we have this header name role city and all this macro we need to go to this developer tab and uh, here we can uh, click on macros here we can see the existing macros so when i run the macro so it will do the formatting of this header so uh, this is the macro which uh, we will use in our code so let's go to the task board i have created this task board uh, excel automation now when i go and search for excel excel package so we can see uh, this excel advanced package and uh, first of all we will open the excel file and then we will run macro so we are going to use this run macro action and at the end uh, we will close the excel file so we need to give the path of that uh, file uh, this file is available on the desktop uh, let me copy the path so sheet contains a header and we are going to open this in rewrite mode because we are going to do some changes in the code uh, in the uh, process in the excel file so this is the macro you can see it here macro 3 so here we need to give the name of the macro which is macro 3 and macro argument so we are not using any argument and it is optional so we are not uh, giving any argument here so if you want to pass any argument then you can pass it here and i uh, will create a local session default and i uh, will use the same session in the clause and uh, let me make changes uh, in the formatting Uh, let's go back to the code and here in uh, close action we are uh, uh, we have disabled this close action so that it will not close the file and we can see the changes so bot is running so it has opened the spreadsheet and then it will run the macro now it will run the macro we can see header has updated let me scroll up see it has updated the header now let me show you how can we use arguments in the macro so let me go to the code and edit this code so this is the function or the macro so i will delete this code and uh, in this we will uh, update the value of the range f10 and this value we will get from uh, get from the uh, automation anywhere task boards as an argument so i have created an argument for this macro 3 message as string so we can pass a string type of argument and uh, the message or the argument which we will get it will uh, update that as a value of f range f10 so this is the simple function or the macro which we are going to use let me save the code so here we go now in the task board we can pass the argument i have updated hello So this is the F10 in Excel sheet. So now let me run the port. See, port has completed and we can see hello in F10. Similarly, we can give anything here like hello automation or hello something. So it will update the same message there. So this is how we can pass some values to the Excel file as an argument okay bot is running and we can see hello in the f10 
so once bot will get complete it will update the value of the f10 hello automation devs here we go so this is how we can use macros in our uh, automation anywhere control room and uh, we can use simple macro as well and uh, we can pass the argument to the macros also so thanks for watching this video guys to let me know if you still have any doubt or any question thank you bye